call the X-Files, but we thought you'd like to see this picture of a UFO-like cloud that was sent to us by Dave Cloutier. His brother-in-law, Gerard Ellis, took it on Monday in Turner. Our thanks to both of you for sharing this with us, and thankfully Keith is here now, so he can explain what this is. To me, it looks like the Jetsons' house on the cartoons. Yeah. Also, really quickly, for the record, I was told by somebody who hunts Bigfoot that Turner is known as the Turner Triangle because weird things are spotted there. Okay. You That's, should know. Yes. <laughs> Just throwing that out there. I'm going to leave that joke right where it lies. Uh, so this is called a lenticular cloud. Um, and the basic premise is, and I don't know exactly where in Turner this was taken, but there's probably some topography here. This, Well, hello. Um, hi, Amanda. This happens more. Oh, uh, uh, all right. Are we going to be able to go back to it? So let me know in my ear. Well, hey, all right. So usually there's some sort of topography in the background here. And so what happens is the air is forced up into the upper atmosphere where it condenses. So basically the condensation level is higher. This happens most often around hills and mountains. Okay, sorry, I didn't know I had a time limit on that. I would have gone faster. 47 for a high today in Portland, 52 in Augusta, 51 in Bangor. By the way, I got a couple of those pictures over the weekend, so I'm guessing that there was quite a few of those lenticular clouds. Visible satellite looking clean. We had a beautiful day today. It'll be clear uh, for the next, you know, whatever we have, 30 minutes or so of daylight. And then through the first half of tonight, after that, clouds start to come in. And tomorrow is a much different day when compared to today. It is a lot cloudier. Temperatures actually get into the upper 40s despite this, so it's it's relatively mild, but eventually we end up with some rain showers by tomorrow afternoon. Originally, those rain showers look to hold off until the evening, but the timing has moved up a bit, so I do think they'll happen during the daylight hours tomorrow afternoon. I'm going to switch models because I don't think this model does a great job on what happens on Thursday night. And what happens on Thursday night is a storm is to our south and we get clipped with the northern edge of it. So at first, it's rain and then it tries to change over to some big fat flakes that don't accumulate. And then eventually I think there's a brief period of time on Friday morning that we do accumulate. Surface temperatures get cold enough. It's snowing at a reasonable enough clip. And now we start to accumulate through early Friday morning through about mid morning. And then this thing's out of here by late morning on Friday and it will melt very quickly. So I've got an inch or two of accumulation. There's this there's this temptation to say, well, you know, it's going to be 50 before and it can't accumulate. but I've seen situations where it's 70 before it accumulates. It doesn't really matter. As long as surface temperatures will get down below 32, 31, 30 degrees, it'll accumulate. So we've got one to two inches here, two to three down across extreme southern York County down to Portsmouth and most of Massachusetts will see two to four to two to five inches of snow. But, you know, whatever, it's gone. <laughs> I mean, by Saturday, it's gone. By Sunday, it's really, really gone. And by Monday, you haven't even, you don't even remember it happened. And by Tuesday, you don't remember Monday happened. So it, it's all good. <laughs> Temperatures will be in the upper 50s and low 60s. Notice though the coastline is cooler. And that's something if you look at the seven day forecast, it's good no matter how you slice it. I mean, look at the weekend, Monday and Tuesday, all the way till midday, at least on Wednesday are just great, really, really nice. But it's cooler along the coast hovering closer to 50, whereas inland I think is hovering closer to 60 degrees, if not warmer. But regardless, I mean, these are these are small fights to uh, to play out because regardless, it's a very nice stretch of weather, guys. And even if we get that inch or so, there's nothing after that I see in the next seven days. So we keep kind of churning along. That's the saving grace of snow this time of year. Whatever you get, it's not going to last that long. Gone fast. Yeah. All right, thanks, Keith. We're back after this.